Hello, rising, rising. You already know what we about to get into. We finna get into these messages. And see what our elephant would like us to know. Uh, Somebody, you can get rest. You are supported. Um, you can rest to regroup and um, relax. Okay. You can relax. You are supported. Um, also, you will be receiving some sort of blessings here. Some sort of blessings and gifts. Uh, when you receive these things, be strategic with it. Um, shoot, be sneaky because people could be trying to spy on whatever this is to see if you got whatever these blessings is or not. But it is okay for you to rest. Your burdens are going to be cleared up here. You're getting some sort of opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. So no need to fear. It's okay for you to rest. You're getting some type of new opportunity. Some type of solid offer that is going to um, balance you out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your good news makes somebody else sad, but listen, that do not matter. You getting this good news, you laying, you taking advantage of an opportunity here. It makes somebody else it makes somebody else sad, but that's neither here nor there. You may even end up being wealthy here with this balance coming in. But you have an enemy too as well. Somebody very deceitful that tried to take a plan against you here. Tried to plan against you. They was very creative with it, but they're going to end up in despair. Whoever this is, is going to end up in the final cup. And then what's going to happen with them is that they're they're going to face some sort of instability because they want the instability to your blessings. This could be somebody you know from the past or it could be a family member, it could be a friend, a lover. But this is somebody you know from the past here. This person was trying to block you off, I'm telling you. Block you off from expansion, four of pinnacles, to the three of wands, to the two of swords. See, whoever this was, they wanted to block you off. It was about greed with whoever this is. If this person tries to reconcile with you or be cool with you, you need to uh, hold your energy back because... This person wanted to stop your forward movement, your expansion. They wanted to stop your confidence, your growth, you being free. They wanted to stop all of these things for you. So it's like, fuck off. And this person made a decision to do this because they wanted you to be unhappy. It's weird. Whoever this is, is weird. Yeah, you don't want to be in denial about whoever this is. They cannot be close to you. 
this person was trying to blind you to them being your enemy. Mm -mm. Hell no. Nah. This person had a choice. You're going to have a choice too. Whether you're going to let this person in your life or whether you're just going to keep moving forward. But also this person had a choice. And this person wanted to plan against you to cause you burdens and stress. But that's all right though because it's okay for you to rest now. Because they, they wanted to lay you getting supported and your blessings to rest. They wanted to lay that shit to rest. This could have been some type of witch. This witch could be a mother. This person could be an earth sign. Don't have to be. But they got earth somewhere in their chart. Air and See, when this person decided to do whatever they were doing, this person, this is somebody who tried to expand overseas or went overseas or something like that to do something here. Or this person could even be feeling deeply unhappily and burdened and in negativity. But this person um, could feel some type of regret for the decisions that they made to do whatever they did to you because it messed them up. Yeah, you were spiritually guided away from this person. Okay. You left behind the conflict and the hardship. You're going to be leaving this behind. Um, this person wanted you to be ill. This person wanted you to be isolated in fear and negativity, be deeply unhappy. Uh, you wasn't even supposed to be able to cope this person tried to send you nightmares. Yeah, this was a witch. But you follow spiritual guidance through all of it. So you were able to get through that journey. Um, and you receive healing. See, what this person meant for you to be deeply unhappy, instead you were spiritually guided on a journey to heal. And now you have relief and stability to where you can rest. You can get some rest because you have healed a great deal. Not only have you maybe healed from what you have been through in your past. You have also healed through the things that this person has tried to cause in your life. You overcame it. This is the calm after the storm. You are going over into calmer waters. You will have the four of wands, security, surprises that's coming to you, celebration, um, a sense of belonging, um, you know, just more happy. Uh, you connected to your community spirit, and that's where you laid down roots and had that spiritual marriage. Uh, so what this person thought that they were doing to you, the divine was doing the exact opposite to you and made you better. Okay. You had a spiritual marriage. Ten of cups. That's all that happened. And that's kind of, and that's really beautiful because it just shows that what happened in the physical, it happens in the spiritual. You know how you because it was a journey, right? You know how you get with somebody and y'all date and, you know, y'all unpack some of the things that, you know, you all have been holding on to and you have to get through things together. And, you know, you face certain things within the partnership too as well. And then you begin to heal together and, you know, you decide to be on that journey together. And then you sometimes people end up, you know, getting married, getting a home together and things of that nature. And this is what you did, but in, but spiritually. Okay. You did this spiritually. So you received the blessing of being awakened. You received a blessing of that emotional and spiritual awakening with the divine and the divine love. And you being perfected in the spirit and getting aligned and coming home. And this is where your foundation and security lies in the divine. So this is also beautiful because everything that comes thereafter, which is this Ten of Cups, 
you're going to actually be completely happy and completely fulfilled and in positivity, very prosperous, very satisfied. And I'm going to tell you, it's not just the the physical things and these blessings that you are about to receive. See, the reason why you're going to be complete and fulfilled is because it's not, you're not just going to be complete and fulfilled materially. You're also going to be complete and fulfilled emotionally, spiritually. Okay. So that's all the way around. That's why it's complete because it's not just by you. It's not just by your own hand. It's also by the divine because you are a spiritual being having a human experience and a material. So you will have everything in complete fulfillment because nothing can fill that void that everybody tries to fill but the divine. So you are going to be nice and full. So this witch, when they were trying to cause instability to your blessings, your ace of cups, your ace of pentacles, because these things were given to you and this person was a hater. And they wanted to steal it from you instead of going to the divine and getting their own promises. They wanted to take your promises, your abundance, your prosperity, the gifts that the divine bestowed upon you. This person even thought that they can take your soul, your spark of life. This person thought that they can tra strategize and be able to do that. This person deceived and manipulated themselves to, for them to ever think that they can steal some divine blessings. Anybody who does that. You are sadly mistaken. You cannot take what you didn't give. And the divine is not going to give that to you anyway. Look how you tried to get it. When you could have just simply went to the divine and got your own. Because he promised us all something. See, this rainbow, the rainbow, it represents those promises. Even the colors in the rainbow, it represents everybody. The red is the beginning. Adam equals red. And that's everybody born up under that. That's everybody. The orange, the yellow, the green, the blue, the purple. That's everybody. All nations, everybody. The promises that the divine gave to his people. So you have your own. So to do all of this, to try to take from another. And this is not the first time this person has done this. To do all of this, to continually try to take from another. It's sad. This person tried to disrupt your ten of cups. And cause a tower to it. But the divine is in control. This person wanted you to fall down. Feel pain. Feel traumatized, feel abandoned. But this person doesn't understand. See, this person is not connected to spirit because with Yahweh, never will you feel that way. And even if you feel it for a split second, that's just you. But you will never be alone. Ever. See, you're in a partnership that you can trust. You're in harmony. You already made a major decision and a major choice to be in perfect union with the divine. And that was the tower for this person. When you did that. Because when you're at home. And when you're connected with the divine, truly. No weapon form will prosper. This person was forming them, 
But this person is not prospering. See, you're in the most trustworthy partnership that you can ever have. See, the tower is you got that healing love. Because this represents the healing angel too. You got that healing love. And raised your consciousness. And I was just talking about Adam. We got Adam and Eve here. You got that mountain in the back. You went up the mountain. You got that communication. You communicated with the divine. See, and because of that, you got the strength. Look at me, the strength. <laughs> that remind me of the, uh, y'all ever watch, uh, <laughs> when he, uh, put the, uh, the emphasis on the T, just added a T to, to a word to, you know, put that, that emphasis on it. Remind me of Eddie Murphy. <laughs> but um, you got that strength to bear and overcome everything. Your self-doubt. Because we are our biggest enemy, right? So you got the strength to not only... Uh, bear yourself and overcome your self-doubt and tame things and get that inner strength and that control you also got it to bear whatever this was that this person put on you too okay and this person is going to be facing judgment here for this betrayal ten of swords because this was the ultimate betrayal um the things that this person was trying to do to you here you were rescued you showed bravery too as well. You were determined. You were determined to have that renewal, that awakening, that rejuvenation, um, being purified. Yeah, you were rescued. See, when this person was doing this, the trumpet was sound about you. And aid came. And it gave you the strength to continue to take action. See, you got your forgiveness from the divine reconciled with the divine awakened and got rejuvenated okay so it's okay for you to rest you've been through a great deal I know sometimes people feel guilty for, for getting some rest but you've been through a lot it's okay to rest But whoever this is, is about to face a judgment where they are completely ruined. They're going to collapse. They're going to hit rock bottom. And they're going to be at a dead end. Because they're under judgment for this ultimate betrayal and the risk that they took. See, this person took a risk. This person took a risk here. Also, somebody else that's about to hit rock bottom is this magician here. Whoever this king of wands is too as well, they're about to hit rock bottom and be completely defeated too. Because they took a risk to do this magician work here. This person was also manifesting on you. See, it was more than one here. See, but through this, through this magician work, through, because um, there was some stuff that was going on sexual here too as well. But through all of this, look, you are the star with the high priestess. You could be a high priestess. Um, you don't have to be, but you're connected to a higher power. You renew, you renew spiritually, you're restored. You're restored. Let's 
see you being in a struggle. What's supposed to slow you down? What's supposed to make you insecure? This is what was celebrated. But it didn't do any of that. It born creativity, positivity, healing, faith. You being more wise, more knowledgeable. Like I said, connected to a higher power. And it's because these people are material. See, they don't get that. Even though they're messing around in spiritual things, these people are material. Because they expected this. To stop you. And to put you down. Like you would neglect what you got going on. That's what they expected. These people ain't that smart. You still took action. Even in the struggle. <laughs> and these people weak as hell. These people had to team up. Involve others. Get witches involved. Do all of this bullshit. Yeah, you got this Ace of Wands. A new beginning anyway. And it just shows that the divine is running the show and these motherfuckers don't run a motherfucking thing. You persevered through these battles. You persevered. You still got beautiful energy, creative spark, new beginnings, inspiration, and the whole enchilada. Even with these people doing this, you still persevere. You get injustice. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> For real, look, you persevere through these battles. Queen of Cups, you get in your justice. You are the truth. And it's more, it's more evident that you are the truth because these people try with all of they might to put you down. No, you are the truth. Because you got through all of those battles physically and spiritually and you still the star. Like I said, you can rest. You're going to get wish fulfillment. You learned lessons. And that's why you're going to be fulfilled. I mean, everything complete. See, they expected your self-esteem to be low. No, you still got high self-esteem. You realized your dreams instead. You are righteous. Hmm. You are connected to heaven too. See, you did soul searching. See why these people was tripping and doing bullshit. You were soul searching. You got that inner strength, that inner guy, that man within. Spiritual enlightenment. That's what you worked on. That's what you worked towards. You were committed to the supreme ruler, to the divine, and to the truth. And that's why you got this ace of swords. You realize the truth about the divine. About the supreme ruler. That's who you committed to. That's who you learn from. That's where your confidence came from. That's who you build with. That's where you found your purpose in. That's who you work for. And that's the truth. That's how you, that's where you got your breakthrough from. You the empress. It was communicated to you the truth about you.
that's about it. The divine lets you know the truth about you. Gave you correction. The divine is that authority. See. See what you're learning. You got that intellectual ability. To learn of spiritual things. To also wield divine power and divine truth. The divine gets the victory. See, this is where you get your vision from. See, you made the correct decision. You didn't make the wrong decision. No matter what it looked like. You made the correct decision. And you got mental clarity on that. See, the divine gave you the authority. See, the supreme ruler handing the ace of swords to the empress. The divine gave that. And these people was in competition because they wanted that. These people be watching. These, some of these people wanted your legacy. But the divine gave it to you. See, the divine handed you the ace of cups, the ace of pentacles, which they tried to stop. The ace of wands. You are all four aces. You are all four, four aces. The empress, the hermit, the justice. The high priestess, the star. In the judgment with the strength and these people tried to bring chaos and conflict towards you because you were being truthful because you were speaking out these people stalked you but all of this did was inspire you See, this chaos, all it did was inspire you. Inspire you to be truthful. Inspire you to be community, community, talk. It also made you more alert. See, it didn't do what these people thought that it would do. You have a solid foundation. You're in your legacy. Some people wanted it to end, but no. You were on the way to success too as well. You got the Ten of Pentacles with the world. Accomplishing things. You are whole. Completion. Fulfillment. Eternal life. Which people should focus on. That inside life. Because it's about you first. But you're going to achieve a lot of things. See, these people get they offers. These people offer to the devil. Look at that. These people offer to the devil. That's all these people do. To try to get some fortune. And that's why they ask, instead of getting the fortune, instead of hearing the good news that they want to hear, they ask is it's getting karma. That's what the fuck you're going to get. And you're going to be in bondage with the devil because the devil is powerless. See, what y'all need to understand is that the Most High Yahweh created the devil. So that means the devil is not stronger than the Most High Yahweh. The devil ain't got all that power like I try to put. But the devil does have a job to do that. See, these people, instead of dating and getting on that journey and getting that getting in that relationship with the divine like you did these people decided to make offers and dance with the devil to try to change your destiny to try to oppress you to try to get fortune themselves so these people are going to be expecting unexpected events in their life and it's going to come from who they offer to. They're going to get dragged. Something's going to happen with some people's materials. Violence is going to be in their life. They're going to be bound down, uh, facing addiction, a lot of secrecy, sorcery, being cheated, 
getting cheated on, their obsession, temptation all the time. Very dependent. And some of these people are going to face depression. <gasps> they ch- Now, they changed the course of their lives. See, they was expecting good news on you. They was expecting to hear some good news on you. But no, the good news is... See, the, the, the good news was they was expecting to hear is you being sad and you missing your opportunity. But no, the news that they're about to hear is them being in the five of cups. They're going to be in despair. They're going to be disappointed. They're going to be in sorrow and heartbroken and grieving because they're going to lose because you are a missed target. And they're going to regret ever coming up against you because they need to learn. You don't do that to no fucking body. So some of these people maybe even going to want to commit suicide, be facing depression, dissatisfaction in life because they're not going to be complete. They're not going to be whole. It's always going to be a bottomless pit. These people are going to be contemplating a lot. For these bright ideas that they decided to come up with. Just hung themselves. These people hung themselves. Thoughtless and careless. These people hung themselves. We got two other people here. They hung themselves. Because now we have another masculine here that has missed the opportunity that would have been profitable for his well-being, his enlightenment. Now this motherfucker stuck with a fool, a thoughtless, careless motherfucking fool that they was told to walk away from. And this thoughtless, careless fool might even walk away from them, abandon them when it get hard because death is surrounding these two people too. So here go another two people. Whoever this man is that sacrificed his damn self. And whoever this thoughtless, careless woman is here. They trying to escape death. But they ain't. They working hard trying to escape death. No, you ain't going to escape shit. This is final destination for your ass. These people trying to escape death right here. But no, it's final destination on your ass. Is what it is. Trying to work hard to escape death. No. You're getting back what the fuck you put out. This is the return on your investment. You tried to kill everything for somebody else. And the death is knocking at y'all motherfucking door. Hello. Hello. Let me in. Because it's coming back. It's coming back. This is what y'all cultivated. Y'all cultivated death. So now death is knocking on you hoes door. Let death in. Y'all wanted death to be surrounded for somebody else. Nah, open up the door. Y'all can work hard to try to dodge death all you want, but it's final destination. Go watch the movie. Go watch the movie. These people teamed up, celebrated, thought that they was in charge. Now these people paralyzed in fear. Now these people who teamed up this little group, now they paralyzed in fear. Some of them even want to apologize for the choices that they made, the plans that they took, this little group, because it all got illuminated. It all got illuminated. These people insecure as fuck. See, these people even had things. You know what I'm saying? Here go another two people here. These people even had things. These people, they wasn't doing bad. You know what I'm saying? They was working on their shit. But they were still insecure. And somebody was working with an insecure bitch that got them caught the fuck up. Because now these two people going to be defeated too. 
This whole fucking group of people is fucked. Here go another one. Like, what the hell is going on? These people celebrated trying to work hard against you. These people were determined. These people were celebrating this shit. Some of these people going to jail. Some of these people going to be facing crises as they teamed up together here. Like I said, some of them want to apologize. For the choices that they made. Maybe they feel like it may be light in the it might lighten the blow. But these people took a somebody could be, you know, wanting to reach out here with the page of pentacles. See, instead of these people taking advantage of the opportunity and being connected with the divine and getting connected with the sun to get the healing that they were supposed to get, the clarity that they were supposed to get, the freedom, the teachings. The divine acting in their lives for them to actually boss the fuck up for real and be whole like you're going to be. They decided against that. You could have even offered that. See, this is where it's getting. You could have even offered that to these individuals. And they shit it on you. Now they about to get shit it on. Did this person offer that to these individuals here? And they played this woman. So, not only did the person that y'all was coming up against trying to hurt, that person still tried to look out for y'all. Bring y'all healing. Bring y'all knowledge. So that y'all can get right. Y'all stabbed them in the back. This person even tried to share with their enemies. So their enemies can have a second chance. And don't think this person ain't know y'all was their enemy. They got that knowledge. They connected. And they still tried to give y'all something fruitful. That'll help y'all. And this is what y'all do. So this is what you'll have. We have another two insecure people here. Insecure, deceptive, somebody got deceived by somebody too as well, by a hater, a jealous ass hater that had hidden intentions the entire time. They just wanted the victory over this earth angel here. so thirsty for connection that they'll betray another beautiful insecure ass hoe these two people are defeated as well this man supposed to be bossed up this woman's supposed to be beautiful act like she in charge you know determined social light so to speak a hating asshole, insecure as fuck, deceptive as all hell. Bunch of fucking weirdos. This person just wanted the fucking attention and the recognition that she didn't fucking deserve. This person wanted this person's 
uh, legacy too. You can't take the legacy of a temperance angel. You cannot take nobody's fucking legacy. Unless they forfeited that motherfucker. Y'all was trying to take from somebody and really defeat them. And then this hoe thought that they would be better or whatever the case may be. If they got the victory, they uh, overpowered this person, got the victory, got the harmonious relationship and ended up in some sort of partnership or marriage or got some sort of proposal. Bitch, you was highly fucking confused. Three of swords. And that's why your ass gonna suffer in whatever it is that you trying to build. Because it's built on a rocky ass foundation. You ain't even care about your first marriage. Which is with the divine. That shit gonna tear your ass a new asshole. Because of your deceptive ass ways. You're going to be unhappy and always crying. And that motherfucker gonna wanna separate from your ass. You're gonna face trauma. That man gonna talk, turn cold on your bitch ass. Because this person that y'all was going up against, they're going to get the victory. They're going to get the reward. They're going to get the recognition. It's the spot that the divine gave for them. So they're going to have it. And they're going to be healed while they have it. Still hopeful. And it's still, this person's victory was divinely protected the entire time. The entire time. They were in harmony and balance with the divine. So it was protected the entire time. And then we have somebody else here that's heartbroken. Because of the action that they took. They got their ass left out in the cold. Because they wanted to be slow footing it. See, whoever this king of swords is. It's going to be heartbroken. And feeling sorrow for the trauma that they caused somebody too. The action that they took against somebody. They got their ass left out in the cold. They're going to be in despair. They're going to face that five of pentacles energy because they took action against somebody to try to cause that within their life too. And they was doing that shit for a long time, real persistent with it. Now this person could even want to complete what they started with somebody after they done went against them and shit. Wanted to cause them poor health. Wanted to hurt them and break their heart. Look at all of these fucking people. No, this person is going to be, this person wanted to neglect somebody purposely, go against them. And this person was stubborn. No. This person gonna sit in that heartbreaking trauma too. See, all these people wanted you to sit in something and for you to eat some shit, but they don't wanna they don't wanna eat what's being served the fuck up. No, they gonna have to eat it. Because they had a choice. And you can rest and you're still in the clear because you try to give to these people. Physically and spiritually. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Rest and get blessed. These people didn't want it. So these people are going to get served up what they, what they want. And it wasn't the divine. This masculine could have, uh, this masculine could be an air sign and have earth in his chart. These two people here 
could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could have air in a chart. These two people here. This King of Cups and this Queen of Swords, we got Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries. Whoever this man is, we got a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They took a risk. This is you. You got Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your chart. Somewhere prominently. This little witch over here is a uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. These witches are earth signs. With fire in their chart or they could be a fire sign as well. All these damn people. Yeah, everything is being illuminated by the people that teamed up against you and these groups and these friends, all of this shit. Uh, there are also, yep, my nose was just itching. Also, there's a group of people that are like higher up. So you got some people that's even higher up that went against you. And they asked this is being illuminated too. These could be already successful people that are already celebrated here. People in the public eye. Also, uh, people who have large companies and corporations um, they also went against you and teamed up against you here. You were plotted and planned against a great deal. Some of these people are going to be facing entrapment in jail time. You're going to see some stars, some famous people, some people who own large corporations and pastors and preachers getting caught the fuck up. Covens, groups, organizations caught the fuck up. Anybody who teamed up against you, anybody who went up against you individually or as a team is going to be in the Eight of Swords. All of these unawakened ass people. Because they have no power. They're going to recognize too that the Most High Yahweh has all of the power. So these people are going to be facing crises. Some of these people are going to go to jail. Some of these people are going to face psych psychological issues. Some of these people are going to be paralyzed in fear and terror. Some of these people are going to end up stuck. And there's going to be spiritual and physical imprisonment. These people are about to get trapped in their own shit. And it don't matter how high they is on the totem pole. Who the fuck they think they is. See, the divine is going to get his glory. Yahweh is going to get the glory. Yahshua is going to get the glory. The sun. And with you coming out as the temperance in this, in this, uh, that was in this read, you are the divine's child. It don't matter if you is a feminine, you still a son.
and the divine is shining the truth down about who he is. This ain't even, you know, you in it and you going through it and you're having this experience, but this ain't even about you. It's about the divine and the divine's power. And he is the head, the creator of all. He is the truth. And that clarity is going to be brought. And it don't matter who you is. It don't matter if you the Pope thinking you doing something. It don't matter if you a president, a ruler, somebody famous with a high ass following. It don't matter if you own Fortune 500 companies. It don't matter if you think you the ruler of the motherfucking earth with your money and shit. It don't matter if you connected to the devil. It don't matter if you walking around in that demonic devilish motherfucking energy. It don't matter the clearance that you think you got. It don't matter the power that you think you hold with the money that you got. It don't matter your motherfucking ranking anywhere, period. Because Yahweh got the ultimate ranking. And that's the truth. And people about to find that out and figure that out. He made it all. Our father and our mother. The one who came down to give people freedom to as well to be able to have eternal life and fulfillment, salvation. And also, the divine is open. To give clarity, truth, heal, peace, love, and joy to anybody who truly wants it. And it don't matter what you have done. But the divine is above all. And this is the lesson. That he is the truth. That he is omnipresent. That he ain't went nowhere. People try, oh, wait till you die, wait till you come back. He ain't went nowhere. Very much brave present in his creation. a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for to even know that that the divine will take action in one's life but not just one's life all because he is the all in all and people try to limit that no all in all It says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. That's all y'all got to do. It says here, you prepare, you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Never lose an opportunity to see anything that is beautiful. For beauty is Yahweh's handwriting, a wayside sacrament. Welcome it in every fair face, in every fair sky, in every fair flower. And thank Yahweh for it is a cup of blessing. Thanks to be Yahweh, he gives us victory through Yahshua the Messiah. If life hands you lemons, make lemonade. 
When a caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. The joy of Yahshua is your strength. May Yahweh grant your heart desires and make all your plans succeed. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. Yahshua is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? I hope you all got a message from this read. Did it help you along your journey? Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Peace.